This wood frog is frozen solid. After eight months frozen, he's completely undamaged and leaping straight for the nearest pond. These remarkable discoveries have captured the world's attention, providing unprecedented insights into ancient life and environments. When she first came out of the ground, she was completely wrapped up. We couldn't see any, any part of her body, but the textiles were just outstanding, and they were so well preserved. From the oldest fossils of marine reptiles on an Arctic island, to the discovery of a mummified wolf puppy in permafrost, estimated to be thousands of years old, these findings shed light on the planet's history through the ages. Join us as we delve into the most remarkable discoveries frozen in ice that have changed our understanding of history. 17. Frozen Frogs On a frosty winter's day in Missouri, the landscape transforms into a serene winter wonderland. As you wander through the snow-covered forest, a curious absence of the usual sounds catches your attention. There's no buzzing of insects or the familiar chirping of frogs. This absence leads to a fascinating tale about one of Missouri's most resilient inhabitants, the wood frog. Despite the harsh winter, these amphibians have a remarkable superpower that allows them to survive in an extraordinary way. Imagine this, as temperatures plummet and winter takes its icy grip, wood frogs don't panic or flee. Instead, they embrace the cold by burrowing into shallow mud beneath the ice. There, they enter a state of suspended animation, freezing themselves solid for up to eight months. The question arises, how do they achieve this seemingly impossible feat? The answer lies in a special enzyme produced by these remarkable frogs. This enzyme triggers the production of a unique glucose in their livers, acting like a natural antifreeze that prevents their cells from freezing and getting damaged. While most of their bodies are frozen in ice, the wood frog's cells remain protected. Their hearts stop beating, their lungs cease to function, yet they stay alive, patiently waiting for the warmth of spring to thaw them out. This wood frog is frozen solid. After eight months frozen, he's completely undamaged and leaping straight for the nearest pond. But the story doesn't end there. Scientists have been studying these frosty frogs, not just out of curiosity, but also for practical reasons. They're exploring how the wood frog's ability to withstand extreme cold could benefit medical research. For instance, by understanding the mechanisms behind their freezing process, scientists hope to improve organ preservation techniques, potentially extending the viability of donor organs and saving more lives. The wood frog's unique glucose production has caught the attention of diabetes researchers. Studying how these frogs manage their blood sugar levels during hibernation could lead to new insights into diabetes treatment, offering hope for millions of people worldwide. 16 largest reservoir of toxic mercury. The Arctic permafrost is discovered to contain a staggering amount of mercury, estimated to be around 15 trillion tons, or a little bit over 14 trillion metric tons, which is approximately 10 times more than the total human caused mercury released into the atmosphere over the last 30 years. Mercury, a toxic heavy metal, is naturally found in the environment and is released through various natural processes, such as forest fires, volcanic eruptions, and weathering of rocks. However, human activities, particularly the burning of coal and certain types of mining, have contributed to a significant portion of mercury emissions globally. The Arctic region, due to its unique atmospheric and oceanic processes, already experiences higher mercury deposition compared to other areas. Mercury accumulates in Arctic wildlife, such as birds, fish, seals, polar bears, and whales, posing health risks to indigenous communities who rely on subsistence hunting. The permafrost, covering approximately 24% of the Northern Hemisphere, has been acting as a massive reservoir for mercury accumulation over thousands of years. As temperatures rise and permafrost thaws, there's a risk of releasing significant amounts into the environment, potentially exacerbating contamination in the food chain. The exact extent and timing of mercury release from thawing permafrost remain uncertain, as it depends on various factors, including the pace of climate change and the subsequent thawing of permafrost. However, it's clear that the release of mercury into the environment poses a significant risk to human health and ecosystems, particularly for Arctic communities and wildlife. 
2015, a notosaur frozen for 110 million years. In Western Canada, a remarkable discovery frozen in ice unfolded several years ago during a routine mining operation. Miners stumbled upon an exceptionally well-preserved dinosaur carcass, perhaps one of the most intact ever found in the scientific community's memory. This dinosaur, named Borealopelta Mark Michelli, belonged to the Notosaurid Ankylosaur family and roamed Alberta, Canada during the early Cretaceous period. Discovered in 2011 by miners working north of Alberta, this herbivore measured about 18 feet in length, which is slightly over 5 meters and weighed roughly 3,000 pounds. What makes this find truly astonishing is the pristine condition of the fossilized remains, offering invaluable insights into the dinosaur's life and demise. Despite perishing over 110 million years ago, scientists observe that the specimen appears remarkably fresh, akin to being only a few weeks old. The impeccable preservation owes much to the optimal conditions under which it was entombed. The notosaur's thick armor, comprising tile-like plates and a gray patina of fossilized skin, contributed significantly to its exceptional state of preservation. This dinosaur met its end as floodwaters from a river swept it into the ocean, where it was rapidly buried, preserving its structure with remarkable fidelity. Unlike its relatives in the Ankylosauridae family, nodosaurs relied on prickly armor rather than shin splitting tail clubs for defense against predators. This herbivore, often likened to the rhinoceros of its time, evolved specialized defenses during the competitive environment of the Cretaceous period. 14. Remains of Prehistoric Plants Greenland, a place often associated with icy landscapes, has recently revealed a surprising secret hidden beneath its frozen surface. Plants buried deep beneath the ice sheet provide compelling evidence of past climate fluctuations in the region, suggesting significant melting events similar in scale to current climate change. Fossilized leaves and twigs preserved within the ice core indicate that vegetation, possibly even forests, thrived during warmer periods within the last million years. This challenges previous assumptions about Greenland's ice sheet stability. The presence of these plants raises concerns about the potential consequences of continued warming. If the Greenland ice sheet were to completely melt, it could lead to a substantial rise in sea levels, affecting coastal cities worldwide. 13. Strange Bacteria in Lake Mercer Strange bacteria were found frozen in ice in Antarctica's Lake Mercer during an expedition led by Professor John Priskew, a professor of polar ecology at the University of Montana. The expedition revealed that there are approximately 10,000 bacterial cells per milliliter in the lake, which is a surprisingly high level of microbial activity for such a secluded and harsh environment. This finding holds significant implications for astrobiology, particularly in the search for extraterrestrial life. The presence of microbial life in Lake Mercer raises the possibility of supporting higher life forms, such as microscopic animals like tardigrades. Additionally, the abundance of bacterial life complements previous discoveries in Antarctica's subglacial Lake Willens, indicating a broader pattern of microbial activity in these extreme environments. Researchers theorize that the bacteria in Lake Mercer, as well as Lake Willens, may be sustained by deposits of carbon from photosynthesizing organisms thousands of years ago, when the buried lakes were connected to the open ocean. The expedition's success in extracting water samples and sediment cores from Lake Mercer opens doors for further exploration and study of this unique ecosystem. Moreover, the insights gained from studying subglacial lakes on Earth, such as Lake Mercer, have direct relevance to our understanding of potential habitats for life on other celestial bodies, such as Mars. The discovery broadens our understanding of life's adaptability and the potential for habitability beyond Earth. 12. Ancient Lunchbox Imagine stumbling upon an ancient lunchbox, not in a forgotten kitchen cupboard, but frozen in a melting ice patch high up in the Alps. That's exactly what happened at Schniederjoch Pass, where a wooden container dating back around three and a half thousand years was found. Finding cereal grains in this ancient lunchbox is a big deal. It tells us that these early Europeans were already farming and growing crops like wheat, barley, or rye. 
so they weren't just wandering around, they were settled and cultivating their food. The location of the find, Schniederjoch Pass, is also fascinating. It suggests that people in the Bronze Age were trekking across the Alps, just like modern hikers. They were carrying their food with them, planning for long journeys and adventures, showing us that our desire to explore and travel long distances isn't a new thing. 11. Ancient Shoe In the summer of 2019, during an unusually warm period, glacial archaeologists from the Secrets of the Ice program made a remarkable discovery frozen in ice in the Horse Ice Patch, a treacherous mountain pass in western Norway. They uncovered a well-preserved Roman-style sandal dating back to around the 4th century AD. This sandal, indicative of Roman influence, was found amidst a collection of artifacts, including arrow shafts, textiles, and even frozen horse dung. The sandal, designed in the Roman Carbatina style, shows that its wearer navigated the challenging terrain of the Norwegian mountains. Despite the remote location, far from the Roman Empire's borders, the presence of such footwear highlights the widespread influence of Roman fashion and culture. The owner likely wore thick wool wrappings or hide socks to endure the cold conditions, indicating preparation for the harsh environment. The discovery reveals ancient trade routes that connected inland Norway to the coast, facilitating the exchange of goods such as animal skins, antlers, and leather for essential supplies like salt, barley, and dried fish. These routes, now obscured by snow and ice, were vital for ancient travelers, but fell into disuse with the construction of better roads in the 19th century. 10. Minnesota Iceman, brace yourself for something truly bizarre and unbelievable. In the 1960s, a mysterious humanoid creature encased in ice emerged, described as a six-foot-tall, hairy being with human-like features. It garnered attention through public exhibitions at carnivals and fairs. Skepticism arose regarding its authenticity. Investigations by authorities and scientists, including John Napier of the Smithsonian Institution, revealed that the creature was likely a hoax. John concluded that the Iceman was a latex model created in 1967 by a West Coast company with only one model ever produced. Despite initial claims of discovery in Siberia, it became evident that the exhibit's origins were fabricated. The Iceman's promoter, Frank Hansen, faced scrutiny over inconsistent narratives regarding its origin, suggesting potential legal motives for the hoax. In 2013, the original exhibit was auctioned on eBay, labeled explicitly as a fabricated sideshow attraction. The case has been featured in various media, including television shows like Shipping Wars and Unsolved Mysteries, further fueling public fascination with the enigmatic creature. Today, the exhibit remains on display in Austin, Texas, under the ownership of Steve Busty, serving as a curious artifact of historical deception and intrigue. However, who's to say that the real Minnesota Iceman doesn't lurk frozen in some ice cave somewhere? What do you think about that idea? Let us know in the comments. 9. Century-Old Fruitcake Next up is a century-old fruitcake discovered at Cape Adair, a fascinating relic from the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. Wrapped in paper and the remains of a tin, this fruitcake is believed to have been part of Robert Falcon Scott's Terra Nova expedition of 1910 to 1913, supplied by the British biscuit company Huntley & Palmers, known for producing such cakes. Despite its age, the fruitcake's appearance and scent are surprisingly well-preserved, almost appearing edible. Fruitcake held significant value during the early 20th century, especially in English society, owing to its high fat and sugar content making it a suitable choice for Antarctic conditions. The Antarctic Heritage Trust's ongoing conservation efforts are vital in preserving and restoring artifacts from this era. Their work includes the restoration of the Terra Nova hut and other portable wooden huts from the early 20th century, ensuring that artifacts like the fruitcake are returned to their original locations within these huts. 8. Oldest Fossils of Marine Reptiles Fossils dating back about 250 million years were found on Norway's Arctic island of Spitsbergen. These fossils belong to the earliest known ichthyosaur, 
a marine reptile that ruled the seas around 2 million years after the Permian mass extinction. Picture this creature about 10 feet, which is slightly over 3 meters long, cruising through ancient oceans as a top predator. What's fascinating is that these ichthyosaurs likely evolved from land-dwelling ancestors, making a big splash as they transitioned to a fully oceanic lifestyle. Back then, the marine world was bustling with all sorts of creatures like fish, sharks, ammonoids, and marine amphibians. Who knows what else lies hidden in those ancient rocks? Maybe more ancient ancestors of these ocean rulers are just waiting to be discovered. 7. Grasshopper Grasshopper Glacier, located in the Rocky Mountains, is distinct from other glaciers due to its peculiar appearance, resembling the skin of an elephant. Discovered in the early 1900s by geologist J.P. Kimball, this glacier contains millions of grasshoppers or locusts, including specimens of the extinct Rocky Mountain locust species Melanopolis spretus, which went extinct over a century ago. The grasshoppers are believed to have been caught in a storm while migrating over the mountains, becoming trapped in the glacier's ice and preserved over time. Due to global warming, Grasshopper Glacier has significantly shrunk from its original length of 5 miles to less than a mile today. This melting has exposed the embedded grasshoppers. In the late 1800s, the Rocky Mountain locusts were infamous for their destructive swarms, capable of devouring crops and causing widespread devastation. However, by the late 1800s, the swarms largely disappeared, leading to the extinction of the species. This decline is attributed to human activities such as agriculture, livestock raising, and climate change. 6. Frozen Alligators During the recent cold snap in the American South, including Oklahoma, alligators displayed a remarkable survival strategy, snorkeling. These cold-blooded creatures adapted to freezing temperatures by sticking their snouts out of icy waters to breathe, creating their own little snorkels. Imagine seeing those prehistoric-looking snouts poking out of the frozen surface. The sight might seem surprising, but it's a testament to the resilience of these native alligators, which have been in Oklahoma since at least the 19th century, as recorded in an 1866 diary entry. While some alligators were introduced to southeastern wetlands, the native population has been enduring the state's winters for generations. Unfortunately, not all gators made it through the cold snap, especially the younger ones. However, most adults managed to survive by slowing down their metabolism and becoming lethargic, almost like going into a mini hibernation. This ability to adapt and survive in extreme conditions is truly impressive, showing just how resilient and resourceful nature can be. Alligators aren't the only ones with cool survival tricks. Other animals, like the wood frogs we mentioned earlier and red bats, have their own unique ways to handle the cold. Nature is full of surprises, and these cold snaps remind us of the incredible strategies animals use to brave the elements. 5. Rare Meteorite in Antarctica In the icy expanse of Antarctica, researchers have made a thrilling discovery. Five meteorites, including a massive 16.7-pound, 8-kilogram specimen, believed to have journeyed from the asteroid belt, were found frozen in ice. What secrets might this ancient space rock reveal about the dawn of our solar system? Antarctica's unique conditions with minimal precipitation and a stark landscape create an ideal natural vault for preserving these celestial relics. Among the finds is an extraordinary chondrite meteorite, rich in metals and containing materials that date back approximately 4.6 billion years. Could this be a tangible piece of our solar system's infancy? The meteorites were found in the Niels Larsen Blue Ice Zone, near the Princess Elizabeth Antarctica Station. How did they come to rest in this remote, frozen corner of the Earth? Millennia of ice preserved them, while the slow but relentless movement of glaciers eventually brought them to light. Aided by modern technology, the expedition was no mere stroke of luck. A previous study that harnessed satellite data and machine learning pinpointed potential meteorite-rich zones. This innovative approach led the team directly to these cosmic treasures. 4. A Frozen Forest 
In 1966, U.S. Army scientists drilled through nearly a mile of ice in northwestern Greenland and retrieved a 15-foot or 4-meter tube of dirt from the bottom. This frozen sediment was rediscovered in 2017 and analyzed by University of Vermont scientist Andrew Christ in 2019. The sediment contained twigs and leaves, suggesting that Greenland was ice-free in the recent geologic past possibly even having a boreal forest where the ice sheet now stands. A team of international scientists, including Paul Biermann, Jörg Schaefer from Columbia University, and Dorte Dahl Jensen from the University of Copenhagen, studied these fossils and sediments. Their results indicate that most, if not all, of Greenland was ice-free within the last million years, possibly even in the last few hundred thousand years. The discovery confirms that Greenland has melted off entirely during recent warm periods in Earth's history, similar to the current human-caused climate change. This understanding is crucial for predicting how the Greenland ice sheet will respond to future climate warming and how quickly it will melt. The study suggests that Greenland is more fragile and sensitive to climate change than previously thought with the potential for irreversible melting and up to 20 feet of sea level rise, putting coastal cities at risk. 3. Foal Mummy Remains of a 42,000-year-old foal was found in Siberia's Batagica crater, preserved by permafrost. The young horse still had its skin, tail, hooves, and even hair on its legs and head. The foal likely drowned in mud that later froze into permafrost, as indicated by mud and silt found in its gastrointestinal tract. Despite this incredible preservation, attempts to extract viable cells for cloning have been unsuccessful so far. The researchers remain hopeful but acknowledge the challenges. This find is significant because it provides insights into the appearance of Pleistocene horses, with the foal having a bay-colored body a black tail, and mane. It is one of the most well-preserved Ice Age animals ever found. The researchers are also considering cloning a woolly mammoth as they did with a 15,000-year-old specimen in 2013. While the researchers are confident in their ability to eventually clone the foal, ethical and technological concerns remain. These include the clone's quality of life, genetic diversity, and the absence of an appropriate habitat. Despite these challenges, the scientific community is increasingly optimistic about the possibility of reviving ancient species, as seen in the recent successful defrosting of 40,000-year-old roundworms. 2. 500-year-old Incan Mummy Maiden La Doncella, known as the Maiden, was a teenage girl who tragically perished over 500 years ago in a ritual sacrifice in the Andes Mountains, where low temperatures contributed to its preservation through natural mummification. Alongside two other children, she was left on the mountaintop as an offering to the gods, dressed in a ceremonial tunic and adorned with a headpiece, symbolizing her role as a messenger to the heavens. Discovered frozen in ice in 1999 in Argentina, La Doncella's mummified remains provided astonishing insights into Inca culture. Her body, remarkably preserved, revealed details of her life and death. Analysis showed she had consumed corn liquor and coca leaves, likely to induce sleep and ease altitude sickness, a testament to the lengths ancient societies would go to in their rituals. Excavated from the peak of the Lulayaco volcano, this find marked the world's highest archaeological dig. La Doncella's discovery, along with the other mummies, When she first came out of the ground, she was completely wrapped up. We couldn't see any, any part of her body, but the textiles were just outstanding, and they were so well preserved. Was a crowning achievement for anthropologist Johann Reinhard, shedding light on ancient Inca practices. Recent research indicates that La Doncella likely suffered from a bacterial lung infection when she died. This finding, along with her unique burial and the artifacts found with her, suggests she was treated differently from the other sacrificed children, possibly sedated to comply with the ritual. 1. Wolf Pup A 57,000-year-old wolf puppy named Jur was found in Yukon permafrost. This little pup offers a unique peek into ancient wolf life. Jur is the most complete wolf mummy ever discovered, 
giving us clues about how these wolves lived, ate, and their genetic background. Jor was part of a wolf group that no longer exists there, hinting at a population switch up. Despite being only around seven weeks old at death, Jor had a surprisingly diverse diet, mostly munching on fish. This discovery flips the script on what we thought ancient wolves chowed down on. Genetic sleuthing shows Jour is linked to ancient wolves from Alaska and Siberia, shedding light on grey wolves' complex evolution. This find is a big deal, because mummified bodies with preserved hair, skin and flesh are super rare in North America. It's a goldmine for researchers studying ancient ecosystems and animal habits. What was the most interesting ice finding for you in today's video? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.